Greg was the point guy on that show. And he brought in um, Earl Ellis and Mark Matry to uh, handle the artistic aspect for the most part. And they did all the sculpting and all that and ended up going to, going to set and doing a lot of, a lot of the application. And, and I think I went a couple nights and did stuff. We were tasked with creating the look of these characters. They were like these sort of pale yellowish green uh, makeups with black contact lenses. The idea that they've just been uh, devoid of any sun. They, they're only eating what's scraps are thrown to them. We had to come up with these kind of feral kind of makeups on these guys with big black eyes and you know back then everybody was you know still had that kind of like late 80s early 90s hair you know kind of lost boys hair going on and and um, you know the makeups were really nice they were like forehead nose cheeks chins stuff like that dentures somehow they really got messed up under the stairs for a really long time but uh, you know I didn't, it's, it's interesting, an interesting concept. Yeah, I mean, that's what Wes wanted. He said, you know, yeah. th these people have not seen daylight for right. years, and so they become, uh, you know, accustomed to darkness, and they get pale skin, they're malnourished, they're not, they, don't, they don't have their vitamin supply, you know, so it's like, yeah, they're pale, and, and they had dark eyes because they just got so wide. The idea was that their pupils were just so wide trying to take in the dark, you know, to see in the dark that it almost blacked out their eyes.